Hey everybody, it's Joanne from Artsy Lake Tarot. Thanks for checking out this message. I'm going to be doing a collective reading. Let's tap into the energies that are surrounding you at this time. See what message your guides and angels have for you. What is the energy surrounding my viewer at this time? And what do they need to know for their highest and greatest good? So someone is watching... Someone's watching you, observing, being watched on social media, stalking, keeping an eye on you, obsessed with you, and then muse in the reverse, inspired by you listening to music, emotional bond, and song lyrics. Someone's watching you in disgust. What the heck? Kind of a psycho. Oh, someone egotistical, someone that possibly ghosted you. So someone that you think doesn't care, someone that you think doesn't have any attachment or feelings for you is actually watching you. Now, this is an individual that don't want you to know this because this is possibly someone that ghosted you. And now this is someone arrogant, someone very egotistical, having too much pride, being stubborn and holding back. But this person is watching you is what I'm getting. I feel when this person ghosted or left you behind, puts you in an energy of feeling very alone, very shattered, right? Crushed, sadness, broken heart. Times you experience panic attacks and anxiety because of the pain, the brokenness of this cycle. Walking away from someone that was a clown, someone that gambled the connection with someone that loved them, someone that was very valuable, right? This person really broke your heart, this egotistical individual possibly ghosted you without any rhyme or reason without closure is what I'm getting now this person is watching you right this is someone that you wouldn't think it you wouldn't think this person is possibly you don't have this person added or this person is blocked from seeing your social media but this person uh, would have fake accounts definitely is finding information about you through some source outside of you knowing right because this person is hiding their true feelings is what I'm getting Give me more energy for the collective in regards to this that surrounds them. What does my viewer need to know at this time? So it is someone from the past coming back into your energy. Possibly someone that you're going to be connecting with in the future. Someone that would love to reconnect with you is going to offer you possibly friendship. So I do feel that there's someone that ghosted you in the past that's coming back. That are going to say, hey, let's get together. Let's have a coffee. I miss you. I want to know how things are going, right? Meanwhile, this person's been watching you all along and this is someone that you think has no interest in you, but clearly they do, is what I'm getting here. Bottom of the deck, we've got the lightning in the reverse. Sudden change, shocking news, surprise, epiphany, upheaval, transformation. Now this is someone coming back and this is something that happened in the past. The lightning, the tower moment occurred within the past is what I feel. Now this person is starting to... Um, starting to recognize that they lost something very valuable. This is someone that's having a hard time letting you go, is what I feel with this muse energy. Interesting. So this is someone that wants to come back. This is someone that is not wanting to let this die. This is someone that does not want to detach from you, is what I'm getting. Let's dive deeper with tarot. So guardian angels, archangels, spirit guides, Please protect the energy of my viewer. Only allow messages for the highest good of the collective to come through. Temperance and Seven of Swords. So there was definitely some type of imbalance. There was someone that felt robbed in a situation. Somebody robbed you of your time. Your time and your effort. Somebody was being dishonest. Let's dive deeper. I'm going to clarify now. What is the anchor energy of this message for the collective spirit? What is the anchor? Five of swords. Jeez. Definitely deception. Somebody was very egotistical. Somebody was fighting to win is what I feel. So this is someone that not only ghosted you, this is someone that betrayed you. This is someone who broke your heart. We got five of swords energy. That's Aquarius. Bottom of the deck on the anchor is the chariot. Cancer energy could be dealing with a cancer or an air sign. 
There's the realization that this person betrayed you and was willing to sacrifice you for themselves. So you're dealing with someone that may be at a distance from you at this time with that chariot energy, but this is definitely someone that betrayed you in the past. So someone at one point was in your energy because they caused you a lot of pain. This is someone that was playing games with that Knight of Wands energy, could be dealing with the Sagittarius, right? Somebody was non-committal, someone was playing games, someone was playing for keeps, playing for their own gratification, someone was not considering you in this energy is what I'm getting, Nine of Swords, caused you a lot of stress, a lot of sleepless nights, this person and their tomfoolery, their games, I say, right? And again, this could be someone that you have put boundaries up. This is someone at a distance now, is what I'm getting. That Nine of Swords is Gemini energy, but there's definitely some betrayal here and a lot of pain and sleepless nights. Possibly this person ghosted you and broke your heart. So this person betrayed you is what I'm getting. That is the anchor of this message. Show me the challenge that's being faced by my viewer at this time. What is the challenge? So being independent in love is the challenge, right? Because this person broke your heart. Could have been dealing with a cancer, with that queen energy, queen of cups in the reverse. You were dealing with someone that betrayed your emotions, your love. And the challenge now is moving forward in this independent energy with that nine of pentacles. Because the nine of pentacles is independence, but it is being alone. But look at the... Look at the lusciousness around this nine of pentacles is feminine, right? There's bounty everywhere. There's stability, right? There's a lot of abundance around this individual. So the challenge is seeing your value and your worth independently, seeing the gifts that are actually all around you once you clear this pain from your heart, this pain of this deceit of being left behind, but it was for your greatest good because now you're going to learn to appreciate the gifts that you have and learn your value and your worth as an independent energy is what I'm getting there with that nine of pentacles. So that's a really solid, stable energy to come out of a broken heart with, right? From the nine, because the nine of pentacles leads into the ten of pentacles. So whatever energy you're in is, is allowing you to be ready for when the right opportunity presents itself to find your Ten of Pentacles, whether that is alone or with another person. But you're definitely on the right track, and that is the challenge. Bottom of the deck is the Two of Wands. You could have been dealing with an Aries. You could be an Aries. But there's a value of or um, validation for some type of an ending here because the world is in this gentleman's hand. The world can represent an end of a cycle. It can also represent the um, having a lot of opportunities or new options in a different direction, right? So there's something that you've closed. There's a cycle where you were once very passionate and you've turned your back to that. Now you're very much focused on something new. I do feel that you had to turn your back on something and now you're putting this energy inward is what I'm picking up here. Show me the energy of the recent past for my viewer. Four of Cups in the reverse. So moving on. Moving on, accepting an offer of new love or moving in a new direction towards love. Self-love, self-reliance. You were deceived in love. So your cup, you're, you're moving your cup somewhere else. You're taking your cup back. It is a new beginning, essentially, from this place now of finding your value and your worth. Healing something from the past. Healing from an egotistical individual who's still watching you, who's not wanting you to walk away, but I feel that you're letting this go because the four of cups is about stressing about what didn't work and why wasn't I good enough and I want another chance and why didn't it work? But in the reverse, you're not even looking in that direction anymore. You're taking this as a an opportunity to move in a new direction on your own. You're not thinking that way anymore. You're open to new love. Four of Cups, that's Cancer, so heavy Cancer. And then Ace of Cups, that's more water. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces in the recent past. So you've forgiven the past. You're present in the moment with your heart open. You've forgiven yourself, right? You're seeing the validity and the value in being alone. Being alone is much better than being in an energy or a connection with someone that would betray you, that would stab you in the back. And they would do this to other people. 
So whatever that betrayal was, just know that isn't about you. That's the, about the person that you're dealing with, right? We've got the high priestess in the reverse, in the recent past. You've set boundaries, right? You're not sh oversharing. You're not sharing with this person. Certainly there's no communication here is what I'm getting. This person that you have cleared your energy, you've pulled your energy back. This person did cause you pain, but you're healing. You've healed. And now this person is watching you move in a new energy, new vibration towards a new love is what I'm getting. Show me how this person that's connecting to my viewer, how does this person feel about my viewer? Six of cups in the reverse. So that's Scorpio energy and then four of swords. They see you as someone that's detached. You're resting, you're healing. You're healing from the heartbreak from this person that you thought you would be with forever. This is Six of Cups energy. So there's no going back is what I feel. This is someone that betrayed you for the last time. You've learned your lesson. You know this person doesn't have the same moral values as you with the Hierophant energy to the Four of Swords. So you're trusting to heal. You're trusting your intuition and you're going inward. You're praying, right? You have faith. You have faith in the universe. And in your spirit guides and your angels and your ancestors that have passed on, that judgment will be served. There's karmic debt to pay. There's consequences to the choices that have been made. This person was supposed to expand, but they didn't. So you got left behind because this is validation for someone that was a soulmate. Right? Is what I'm getting here. What is the outcome of this message for my viewer? What will the outcome be? happiness working towards happiness working hard being happy in what it is that you do for work happily working seeing things clearly working towards your future we've got eight of pentacles to the nine so you're very focused on finance and stability at this time as you should be because there was betrayal in a connection there was betrayal in a relationship someone broke your heart this person's watching you is what I feel. I'm going to dive into your person here. If you're interested, you can follow me in the extended. I want to see the future actions and intentions of this person that's watching you. But there's a bigger message here than this person who's watching, probably doing nothing. You are working really hard towards abundance, towards happiness, towards stability, towards the light. Right? There's validation for this energy and the outcome that's coming towards you that you're in at this time. You could be dealing with a Leo Eight of Pentacles, that represents Virgo energy. Three of Wands, right? You're setting your you're setting your boundaries, you're setting your grounds here, and you're you're doing a lot of work. You're working really hard. You're taking care of yourself. And now you're gonna reap what you sow, right? You've been working really hard, and now you're gonna reap what you sow, and you're gonna see things clearly, and you're moving towards something new, new love with your heart open. Clarify this ace of cups, please. The moon in the reverse, release any fears. Release your fears into love because this is a new opportunity of love. One that's going to be of the same moral vibration as you. You're going to deal with someone that has the same beliefs as you is what I feel. Continue to move forward with your heart open, releasing fear. Could be dealing with a Scorpio. Everything is happening in divine timing. Give me more energy on the sun. For the outcome, please give me more energy on that sun. Look at this. Someone's going to watch you be happy. Right? That's this person. This person's going to watch you be happy and, and, and abundant, working hard, ready to give, to receive love. Now this person's going to watch you. It's all about that. That's this person's karma is what I feel. So if you're interested in future actions and intentions of this page of swords person, come on over, hit the... Link in the description box of the video. But if this is where we part, thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you have not done so. Let me know if this resonates. Take care. Thanks for watching. Bye.